Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. How are you going? Uh, so last lesson we started looking at expanding binomial products using FOIL. So first outer, inner, and last, expanding the two terms in our brackety expressions to uh, using a distributive law. Today we're going to look at special cases of these binomial expansions. We call them perfect squares and different difference of perfect squares. So let's write our title today. So perfect squares and difference of perfect squares. So what is a perfect square? So a perfect square, there are two of them. Number one is a plus b all squared. It's perfect because it's the same term multiplied by itself because something squared means it multiplies by itself. So a plus b all squared can be written as a plus b times a plus b in brackets. If we expanded this using FOIL, so first a times a gives me a squared. The insides is b times a gives you b a. Outside gives you a b and last gives you b squared. Since b, a and a, b are the same thing, because 2 times 3 and 3 times 2 are the same, the order doesn't matter, we can simplify this. So there's 2 lots of a, b, so that becomes a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. Perfect square number 2 is a minus b all squared. So it's perfect because it's by itself a minus b times itself again a minus b. Let's FOIL this. So first you have a times a which gives you a squared, outside it gives you minus a b, inside gives you minus b a, and lastly, don't forget the negative sign, minus b times a minus b gives you a positive b squared. So simplifying that gives us a squared minus 2ab, because a b and b a is the same thing, so minusing two lots of those and b squared. So the idea of perfect squares is if you see the pattern of something all squared, so a plus b all squared or a minus b all squared, you can jump directly to this final pattern of if it's a plus b all squared, then you get a squared plus 2ab plus b squared, or if it's a minus b all squared, then the pattern becomes a squared minus 2ab, because there's an a minus b, so it's minus 2ab, but plus b squared. So one way to remember it is always a squared first, but if the inside is a plus, then it's plus 2ab, but if the inside's negative, minus, then it's take away 2ab, and lastly you finish off with plus b squared. So that's the two patterns there. Now difference of perfect squares is also another pattern, so let's write that down. So difference of perfect squares. What is the pattern? When it's a plus b times a minus b. Why is it called perfect squares? Well, let's FOIL this. Let's expand this using FOIL. So first is a squared. Outside is minus a b. Inside is plus b a. And lastly, minus b squared because pos b times minus b gives you negative b squared. We can simplify this because a b is the same as b a, so take a b plus b a, that cancels, so it disappears. So all we're left with is a squared minus b squared. So you can see that it's a difference because it's take away of perfect squares because it's a squared minus b squared. So in summary, the point of today's lesson is if you can notice the patterns of if you're trying to expand a plus b all squared, then you can jump directly to the final pattern of a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. Or if you notice the perfect squares in the pattern of a minus b all squared, you can jump directly to the pattern a squared minus 2ab, because the inside's minus, plus b squared. Or if you notice a pattern of a plus b, a minus b, then you can jump directly to the final pattern of a squared minus 
be squid.